This is a quick example of how to add additional rows to the form when a user clicks that they, they need additional rows. There's a couple different ways to implement this and uh, I might show both ways here. So what we have is a group of fields inside this parent group, first, middle, and last. And so on these fields, I'm hiding the caption via the, the hide caption setting and I've set the um, the groups alignment to horizontal so the fields align horizontally so I've got one row of fields and what I want to do is then um, add the option to click a button if I have an additional parent to add to this so that can be done in multiple ways one way would be to insert a button at the end so we'll insert a single button now we drop down to the second line you can see there's a space for a caption so we need to turn hide caption on and the It'll, it'll all line up with the, with the rest of the fields. So now we have this button, let's call it add second parent and we'll save that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the entire group. So now I've got a second group and I would probably go in at this point and rename each field instead of with the uh, default that's given. I'll just change those to last name, first name, middle name with a two at the end. Okay, and I like to save as I go. So now I've got two rows. What I'm going to do um, first, I guess we'll also want to change. Let me just float this panel. Um, I'm going to change click me to add another, and then I'll do the same thing on the next one. Although we're not going to get into that, so add another. And so then what I do under parent two, the second parent group is I set it to hidden and I'll save my changes again. And now what I want to do is attach an action to my button that's going to show that group when that button's clicked. So on that button, I go into actions, new action, we'll call, we're going to use a show and hide because we want to show that group. And we're going to call it show parent two group and we choose which what we want to show and we can do multiple if we hold down the control key but since we have everything inside a group we can just show the group and then there's the option to hide source which we're going to set to true which will hide this button because we don't want to show that button once they've added the second group let's turn on animate and have it slide down hit save save again save this and then preview it so now when I click add another the second group shows up and then we would do the same thing with the third group. I'll show you how quick and easy it is. We just duplicate the group. I'm gonna skip uh, renaming all the fields. I'll just set this one to parent three. Go into that button, add an action, show and hide. And I'm gonna call it show parent three. Scroll down to my parent three group. I'm gonna hide the source, animate true, slide down, save and that's my second button and then third is the maximum so I'm just gonna go in and delete the last button because we don't need that on the third group and I'm going to preview this so now I can add a second parent and then add a third parent and that's how easy it is and if I apply validation so here's how you can actually apply a setting to multiple fields at once if you hold down the control key select all three of these fields actually I can select all six of these go into validation and set required to true and hit save now when I preview this and I hit add another we'll see that this is now required if I hit submit I get an error on each of these fields so that's great because if I don't show them they're not required but once I add them then they are required um, you can optionally have a button here that says hide row and you can do the same thing you can hide that row so that's an option that, that a lot of people include on their forms. Now I'm going to also illustrate one other thing here because what we're seeing is that we've got validation on each of these fields and they're all showing this asterisk. Now we can hide the um, well we can hide the error icon that's this little icon right here and that would solve this problem so let me show you what happens when we do that if I hide error icon equals true and I preview uh, I'm going to add another row hit submit so now we don't have that icon and that concludes this brief demonstration on how to add a button to add additional rows on demand.